is Andy Crawford with LouisianaSportsman.com. I'm at Passalute uh, Wildlife Management Area at a uh, coastal restoration project. Um, it is a, a partnership with uh, Restore the Earth Foundation and Wildlife and Fisheries where they bring in these, uh, they, they call them Gulf Saver bags and, and in essence they're just a, a canvas bag full of compost that's made specifically for this area uh, and it's got uh, spartina grass in it and some of them have mangroves there's some mangroves scattered around in this grass this is this is pretty impressive this area that that i'm standing in was put in uh, last december uh, it's probably three quarters of an acre or so um, these bags are placed in a, in a sort of a checkerboard. They're spread out where uh, the water can wash through. And the, the goal is, is that the, uh, the, the grass the, uh, will, will grow together, the mangroves will spread. And as you can see, there's a pretty consistent, uh, dense growth uh, all back behind me. None of this grass was here last December when this was planted. And so this has really helped hold this sandbar together. This whole area was just a big naked sandbar that the water could wash over, wash out. There's another three quarter acre or so uh, a site on the other side of the, the uh, sandbar. It's a little bit bigger than this and it is really, really thick. Um, this project is, is, you know, kind of a first attempt to try to try to do something out here on these outer beaches to uh, to protect it. Uh, these beaches are eroding and, and basically moving backwards faster than the river can can develop them, um, especially down here at the end of Passalute. Um, so it's real important, that, you know, to, to see if this is a, a technique that we want to use on a much larger scale to, you know, really try to combat the the gulf coming in and, and pushing pushing this habitat further back um, this beach that we're on is a real important uh, loafing area for um, dozens of species of birds pelicans uh, shorebirds plovers migrants um, it's one of the first places that these migrant birds coming from south america stop over when they come in from the gulf um, so it's a real important habitat that we really concern that if it goes away you know what will happen to those bird species it just be you know a, a problem for them I'm, I'm very impressed with it um, the um, obviously when this when this first happened um, we were very very skeptical or, or you know not real sure how how well it would work and and would it be worth you know it's it's would it be worth the time and effort of the additional work that goes into doing this technique versus just a a normal technique of of planting plants in the ground and um you know from a purely uh you know a observational standpoint not any kind of scientific um data collection it appears that it's it's it really is um, at least in this particular location, it is a benefit by doing this type of application. And, um, you know, it's really giving the plants a, a, a jump start to, to grow a lot faster, to, to, you know, expand a lot faster than might happen normally. Um, and we're going to, you know, try to re take this smaller scale, and bump it up to a little bit bigger scale in our next planning and, and see how that works. And, and look for funding and sources to, to maybe even do it on a bigger scale than that. So it's another component to the coastal erosion fight. It's really encouraging to see this. We're seeing grass that's spreading that actually wasn't part of the project. And you can see Spartina, little clumps of it growing out around it. And so, whereas the recognition is that the sandbar is likely to be pushed back and, uh, and, and you know, erode, this is is put in place to try to hold that together also another component is that the uh the bags are uh infused with oil eating microbes and uh there is oil under this sand if you dig a little bit uh you'll see this black gunk that that's obviously uh some of that oil residue um and so those microbes are helping mitigate that but it's really encouraging to see this uh this project um i'm really looking forward to coming back in a, in a 
couple of months, maybe in the spring, and seeing how it has expanded, seeing how it's dealt with this, uh, with this uh, constant erosion, this constant pounding of the waves. Uh, so uh, look up the, you, you can go to the uh, Restore the Earth Foundation website. There's pictures of all of these projects uh, showing um, you know what it looked like before, what it looked like during, and what it looks like now, and and so I'm sure they'll continue to update that. We'll also have some pictures and some some updates in the future. Thank you for joining us.